It's Wednesday, November 18th, and we're three hours into trading. Hello, traders. Let's see what the market's doing today and see if we can find some trades. We've got very, very choppy price action right now. This is a five-minute chart on the SPY. You can see that we are trapped within the high from yesterday and the low from yesterday, and we're right in the middle of the range, probably up closer to the high. However, no organized price movement today. Lots of big candles, green and red. That means that buyers and sellers are paired off. If you look in the description of today's video, you're going to find a link to my Twitter page, and there you'll be able to read my fundamental and technical analysis. Basically, I state that buyers and sellers are paired off, and I explain why. We have opposing market forces on the sell side and on the buy side, and that's keeping us in a fairly tight range. It almost feels like pre-holiday trading going on right now. Let's go into the daily chart on the SPY get our bearings here, you can see how we've been able to close above that prior high. And I consider that to be significant and bullish. You'll also notice that this long red candle that we had here, that was that massive 150 point S&P 500 spike that we saw a week ago Monday. That was on the Pfizer vaccine news. Moderna's news came out this week, also created some ex excitement. Their drug is actually easier to transport. It can be transported at about 40 degrees Fahrenheit, so much easier to transport. Good news. We've got good news across all the vaccine fronts, so I'm not going to get into the positives and the negatives within the market. I'll just say that we retraced half of this long red candle here. I consider that to be bullish, and we're above that price point right now. You can see tail under body yesterday and a little bit of a grind higher today. We are going to see two-sided price action. This is not going to be a runaway rally. The reason that I'm slightly, slightly bullish, my overall market opinion is neutral to slightly bullish, is because we have seasonal strength working in our favor. So I'm not going to be buying any calls because time premium decay is going to erode those premiums. I'm looking to sell out-of-the-money bullish put spreads on strong stocks, I want to take advantage of time decay, especially given that we have a holiday coming up next week. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, you're going to see some very light trading volume. So we want to be short premium right now. So we're going to go in. Let's take a look at a couple of easy searches, see what we've got going. I'll also put up the five-minute chart of the SPY so that we can see what the overall market is doing while we're doing our other analysis. Not a whole lot. I mean, it's going to be chopping around. If anything, I believe the market has an opportunity to go lower. Here you can see we've got a 1OP bearish cross. We also have a double top lower high. So I think that the market is going to go down. And so I'm not going to be looking for any short positions right now because I want to find a swing trade that I'm able to take advantage of that expires hopefully within about a three week period of time. So we're going to go into the heavy buying list in Option Stalker and we're going to see what we've got here. Tesla, really, really nice. I think that you can sell out of the money bullish put spreads on Tesla. The reason being they are going to be added to the S&P 500. Now they're talking about adding the stock in two tranches. So that might level out some of the demand and what happens when it's added to an index like that is that asset managers who have index funds need to buy that stock so you'll see a breakout right here through horizontal resistance i think you can sell bullish put spreads below that 50-day moving average right there so let's take a look and see what that might possibly yield that would be the 425 strike on tesla and so we'll bring the option chain in so we could take a look at that. Hopefully we're able to go out two weeks or less. And we're going down to that 425 strike price. And we're going to click on that and we'll click on the 422.50s. I need to be able to get a 50 cent credit for this. And you can see it's 25 cents bid offered at 65 cents. So we're almost there. 45 cents is the middle point. Now, if this spread expires worthless, we will make a 25% return. We have $2.5 between the strike prices. We bring in a $0.50 cent credit. 
that means that we take $2.50, we apply the 50 cent credit, we've got to put up $2 for that trade, we make 50 cents on that trade, that's a 25% return in two weeks. I like it. And you can see here, the market is coming down on that 1OP bearish cross. This is the only indicator that I use to trade the S&P 500. So I like Tesla. I think this is going to be a really good stock. And uh, because it's being added to the S&P 500, it's going to have upward momentum. And it's pretty close to that high right there. I like selling below that 50-day moving average. So that is probably going to be the options trade that I highlight today. We're going to continue to go down. Look at this, number two right on the chart. Love it. This is a great breakout. You can see this is Target. They had earnings before the open today. You have a breakout through this horizontal resistance right here. And that puts us in. The open today was at 165.94. I would need to sell below that, which would be 165. So let's go and take a look at that one. It doesn't tend to carry that much premium. I think I'm going to have to go out to the December 11th expiration date. We're going down to the 165 strike price. I'm going to click on that bid. I'm going to click on the ask of the 162.50. Again, a $2.50 spread between the strike prices. And I'm going to be looking to get 50 cents for that. And look at that, 44 cents bid offered at 73. I think you can easily get 50. I think you might even be able to squeeze a little bit more out of that one. And I like it because the premise is that this breakout is going to hold. Target broke through major horizontal resistance after earnings. That means that it had excellent news and an excellent reaction. I'm expecting this stock to grind higher, 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 higher into the holiday season. And this breakout right here is going to hold. As it does so, we're going to distance ourselves from that strike price. And we're going to have that spread build in a bigger and bigger cushion. So that is selling a spread that's three weeks out and selling that 165, 162.50 bullish put spread on target. Now we've got two trades under our belt. I'm just going to continue to click through and we'll take a look at what else is moving today. And I'll show you what I like about it, what I don't like about it. Let's see if we can find a day trade. BYND plows below the 200 day moving average. Earnings after the close there. That sparked the selling. Now we're going to try and fill in this gap right here. Looks pretty good to me. Take a look at that daily chart. This is a volatile stock. Everything looks great in here. You get this nice rally, pull back, higher low. Great. Here we go. We take out the high of the day. Now we're cooking. Everything's great. Wham! Where the heck did that come from? Well, the stock has been able to recover from that sell bar right there. I do kind of like it. I can't say that I'm gonzo over this one. I like it from a day trading perspective. And I did day trade it on the long side. Made some money on it on this long red candle right here. I ended up seeing some relative strength right in here. I bought it, sold it. So, yes, BYND, a ah, little bit dangerous. They didn't like the earnings announcement. You can see how the market's really starting to come in right here. Uh, so let's keep looking. Let's see what else we've got on the list. If you don't like what you see, keep looking. You don't need to force trades. I see a lot of people, they get tunnel vision. Once they lock into a certain stock, they don't want to look at anything else except for that stock. So we'll continue to look here. CRM looks pretty good to me. Uh, not seeing anything too compelling one way or the other. So I'm going to take a pass on that. I like that it's above the 50-day moving average. Lots of herky-jerky price action. You can see that part of the channel, downward sloping that part of the channel right there. So it's in kind of a wide downward sloping channel. Not really seeing anything too interesting to me there on a daily chart. Pen, nice and strong off that 100 day moving average right there. Mm, nothing too great there either. GRPN, got a nice big bowl shaped formation here through the major moving averages. Nice candle there. TJX. Another one that announced earnings today before the open. Very choppy stock. Back and forth, back and forth. It is through this horizontal resistance point right here. 
So that might set us up with a nice bullish put spread, keying off of that $59 support level. SPCE, this looks really nice. This is a stock that we sold out of the money naked puts on a week ago, Wednesday. That's really a nice play for us. GM, very strong. Autos have been strong in general. Breakout, continuation. I don't know that I would be buying GM in here. I just don't have that much confidence in the economy continuing to grow with this new wave of coronavirus cases. JMIA, ready to break through this horizontal resistance. There's another pretty volatile one. You can see the earnings reaction there, but it's been able to recover very quickly. How do I trade this situation? I click GTC. I click on this bar right here. And looky there. I've got my nice horizontal resistance line. This is an alert line. When that price point is penetrated, I want to know about it. That might mean that the stock is ready to challenge the all-time high. And for sure, there might be some day trading opportunities for me in it. So I like that. GRWG, you've heard me highlight this one. Love this breakout here. Liked it even back in here. It's continuing to plow higher. I like that stock on a longer term basis. I think this one continues to move higher. Two more. TRIP, nice breakout here. TripAdvisor with the coronavirus vaccine. Uh, vaccines coming to market. These stocks should actually do pretty well. We're seeing a rotation into travel and entertainment stocks, hotels, airlines, restaurants, on the notion that once those vaccines hit the market, we'll be able to get our economy back on track. It may take a month, two months, three months for that to actually happen. So finally, KNDI, we have been all over this stock. We're all over it here on the breakout. After earnings, it dropped down to a support level. Once it got above the 100-day, that's where I started getting into it. Very strong price action breakout here. Got a horizontal breakout right here through the 1050 level. I do like KNDI. I think that one sets up really well for a longer-term swing position as well. Did you see how easy that was? Anything that I like on a sing swing basis is also going to set up well on a day trading basis. Then I just have to go in. I have to make sure that we've got the 1OP indicator working in our favor. For instance, there's a trough in the 1OP indicator and a bullish cross. This is where I start looking for stocks with relative strength and I start buying them. Certainly, this one would have been on my list. And guess what? It was. I saw this drop right in here. I saw the stock getting some relative strength right in here. I bought it. I sold it for, I believe, a 20, 25 cent win. Really nice trade. That's how we do it during the day. That's how we find our swing trades. Make sure that you're looking for relative strength, heavy volume, and technical breakouts. Once you have those technical breakouts, you know that you have strong momentum on your side because you're not going to get a lot of tailwind from the market right now. There's nothing going on. Buyers and sellers are paired off, so the stock is going to have to do it on its own. When you get a breakout like this, you know that that is going to fuel a move higher and you're going to build in that cushion on that bullish put spread. That's how we do it. Thanks for watching. If you like the content, please give it a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel and turn on your notifications so that you never miss these videos because I'm going to have a great trade for you in each one of them. Thanks. Good luck with your trading. We'll see you tomorrow. Thank you for watching this YouTube video. I'm Pete Stolzers and I'm going to keep the trade ideas coming along with lots of education. So make sure to subscribe to the channel and please turn on your notifications so that you never miss another trade. If you like the content, please give it a thumbs up. I've loaded two other videos that I think you're really going to enjoy. Stay tuned. We'll see you soon.